Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XRP. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about XRP. I'm going to start with this. We're extending the deadline to submit NFT project applications for the Ripple Creator Fund. You now have until January 18, 2023 to apply to bring your NFTs to life on the XRP ledger. From musicians to fashion designers, apply before it's too late. I feel next year the XRP ledger is absolutely going to explode and expand very fast. Look at all the growth that has happened so far, even during a bear market. CNBC's Jim Cramer says he's negative on Dogecoin. Well, it looks like Elon Musk is about to pump up Doge again. Because anything Jim Cramer says, you can expect the opposite. Cramer swipes at XRP for the third time. Says no one takes XRP. Is this guy kidding me at this point? So James, Jim Cramer, American television personality, author, and the host of CNBC's Mad Money Show, remains relentlessly vocal about his campaign to downplay digital assets, including Ripple's native token XRP. Kramer recently disclosed that out of all the risk assets with numerous financial scenes, he is negative on cryptocurrencies, especially XRP, and he doesn't see anyone showing further interest in them. I see people coming into crypto on a daily basis. You go over to crypto Twitter and you always see people say, I'm new to crypto, I just bought my first utility coins. Did I make the right choice? Or they say, I just came into crypto. Can someone point me in the right direction? People are interested in crypto. Now, Jim Cramer has a lot of followers. Most people never got into crypto and never will because of Jim Cramer. Still hiring Ripple. And we've seen it during the entire bear market. market. Non-stop hiring all the way from London to New York to San Francisco and beyond. Does that look like a company that is going to go to zero at some point? Absolutely not. I have collaborated with Iris Worldwide to create the key visuals for Ripple's biggest ad campaign. This includes print and digital works as well as animation that inspires the whole tone of the concept. It is amazing to see your artwork in two big cities, London and New York. Again, during the bear market, Ripple went on a massive ad campaign while they're still tied up in a lawsuit with the SEC at the same time. Ripple's first on-demand liquidity customer in France, Lehman Way, used RippleNet's ODL, which leverages XRP for crypto-enabled payments. Now, when you see Ripple's partners, our customers, talk about Ripple, you know you invested in the right cryptocurrency. By using Ripple's ODL to underpin Lehman Way's treasury operations, we are looking forward to bringing significant benefits to our business. Ripple's solution allows us greater flexibility around when we make payments to our partners, releasing us from the traditional banking cutoff cycle and driving operational efficiencies, which will allow us to free up funds to invest into our business. Now here in the US, I feel a lot of businesses would definitely use Ripple's ODL. I know a lot of the banks absolutely are waiting to use it tomorrow, but yet they're still tied up with the SEC. Gary Gensler is truly holding back innovation here in the US. Ripple to facilitate remittances from 19 European countries to Africa via its partner. Now, we've seen this during the entire bear market as well country after country coming on board the uk is fast tracking everything right now i feel we're going to see everything play out over there long before we see it happen here in the u.s but this is just another opening for ripple i feel all these companies and all these banks are getting positioned for what's about to come next year ripple enabled remittance would soon expand into africa from 19 european countries via nala a Tarzanian fintech company and agent of Modular, a Ripple partner. In February 2022, payments platform Modular announced a partnership with Ripple to enable seamless payments in the UK and Europe. Together, the two fintechs intend to allow businesses to run real-time payments internationally, 
powered by Ripple's financial technology, RippleNet. And we're going to see more of this even as time goes on. Bank de France, HSBC, IBM test interoperability of wholesale CBDC. These companies partner with Ripple and Stellar. And I always said, I feel anywhere they're going to utilize Ripple, they're also going to utilize Stellar. It makes sense. You have Ripple and XRP for bank-to-bank -bank payments. Then you have Stellar and XLM for person-to-person -person and retail payments. It makes sense. Ripple partner Novati and Sydney-based group collaborates to deliver pioneering payment solutions. This is also very big. Launched in 2015 by Peter Cook, Novati aims to bolster effective payment solutions and provide a unified commerce offering for merchants. In the past few years, the firm has, had, has made several moves that have contributed immensely to its development. One such move was partnered with Ripple to utilize its ODL solution. And it's always they're talking about on-demand liquidity. Everyone's getting prepared. My credit union is now offering Samsung Pay. Samsung working with Ripple partner Finabler on international payments. This is also very big. Samsung Pay now has an international remittance feature utilizing a platform owned by Finabler, a London-listed Ripple partner. Branded as Money Transfer, the service is currently available only in the United States, with the exception of Oklahoma, and will be rolled out in other countries next year. That's why I said everything looks really good for next year. In an announcement dated October 3rd, Penabler said the cooperation with Samsung Electronics America involves a new in-app feature that allows for remittance of funds to foreign recipients. Customers can initiate transfers using credit or debit cards registered with their Samsung Pay, and the money can be sent to designated recipients as cash or to their bank accounts. So they're making payments simpler throughout the entire world. Yet Jim Cramer doesn't see the value in XRP. When you see some of these crypto prices, now is the time to accumulate, prepare your future. And right now, I feel crypto is on sale. Most people get discouraged at times like this. People that have been in crypto for a long period of time are like, this is just buying opportunity time. I'm going to continue stacking because every little bit you buy right now is one step closer to financial freedom. Ripple to save 8 billion people worldwide with sustainable blockchain technology and XRP. Climate chain experts believe that Ripple XRP Ledger has the ability to dif differentiate between low quality and value added carbon credits. Remember David Schwartz said he was excited about carbon credits? That's because that's going to be a massive industry in the very near future. It's going to grow year over year. Ripple is building a portfolio of long term ad additive science-based carbon credits that would cater to Ripple's co commitment to hitting net zero by 2030. And I feel that any crypto is, that isn't on board with carbon credits or climate, they're going to most likely get regulated out. Because you see the way the world talks about climate change right now, all coming out of the World Economic Forum's playbook. Nobody knows how this will shake out. People shilling coins left and right. Great tech on the table from all sides. We have propaganda and corruption at the highest level. This only ends one way, regulations. And as regulations come, we're going to see crypto change again. A lot of cryptocurrencies will disappear. Everybody knows it's coming. It's only a matter of time. But I think next year, things are going to really turn around. But because we're stacking at these low prices, Almost every one of these utility-driven cryptocurrencies, in my opinion, are an easy 100x from where they're sitting right now. They're all undervalued as well. You look at any ISO coin and you ask yourself, how can this still be sitting under a dollar? Think about it like that. And some of them are much lower than that even. Look at where XLM is sitting. Look where XRP is sitting under 50 cents. Come on. But yet we see partner after, partnership after partnership happening. We see all the growth happening, but the price has not moved. That's what gets me excited for when the price does move. Euphoria is definitely going to set in. 
Right now, all you have to do is sit, sit back, be patient, and wait. I say it all the time. That's the key to success inside of crypto. Patience is the key. With that said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you watching my videos. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.